Welcome to my space, everyone. Today, we're going to start on some strength work with the focus on working on legs and core. Uh, not much stretch today. We're going to focus on getting that strength work in, working towards the advancing of, of options and uh, pushing our, our bodies a little bit more um, to create some change. So let's get moving together. Stepping into your sun salutation to start us off with, toes and heels together. So options for our sun salutation, either toes and heels together or feet shoulder distance apart. Inhale to the top of your mountain. And as you exhale, come float forward to your fold, fingertips land. Stepping back with your right leg into the lunge, lift your eye gaze. With your left foot, step back into down dog. Tail is high, shoulders are drawn back away from your ears. Breathe into your plank position, shoulders above the hands. Knees come down for the first one. Exhale as you crocodile, keeping the elbows close to rib cage. Roll the shoulders down and back, squeeze the butt to little baby cobra lift. Tuck your toes, pushing back to down dog again. Lunging the right foot through, help it if you need to. Making sure the knee lands above the ankle. And then stepping in with your left foot, feet again, either hip distance apart or feet together. Breathe in tall to the top of your mountain. Breathe out, warming effect for the body. Fold, lifting in the belly, tail is high. Left leg lunges back, eye gaze lifts, create length through the spine. Exhale to your down dog, tail is high. Breathe life into your plank, articulate through the spine so the shoulders align over the hands and slowly bring your body down. Rolling the shoulders down and back, squeeze the butt, lift the heart, full up dog. Tuck toes, push back to down dog again. Left foot lunging in between the two hands. Help it if you need to. Good alignment, good lift. Stepping the back foot in, fold. Breathe into the top of your mountain and let's take a little squeeze into the back body. Take the hands behind us, press the fist down away, open up through the heart space and lift your eye gaze. Breathe in tall again. Breathe out as you fold. Fingertips land, right leg lunges back. You know the sequence now. Let your body flow with each movement, exhaling to your down dog. Breathe life into the plank. Breathe out as you descend. Roll through shoulders, squeeze the butt, lift the heart space. Tuck the toes, pushing back to down dog again. Lunging your right foot through, help it if you need to. Lift the heart. Stepping the feet underneath hips. Tail is high. Breathe into the top of your mountain. Create length and space. Breathe out as you fold. Fingertips land. Left foot lunges back. Lift heart, stepping back to down dog, tail is high. Breathe in to plank position, straight and strong through the back as you slowly lower. Roll the shoulders back, breathe in, lift heart. Tuck toes, push back to down dog. Lunging the left foot through, help it if you need to. Stepping the feet underneath hips. Breathe to the top of your mountain. And let's finish with a beautiful stretch for the back of the body, hands behind you. Exhale as you press away, lift through the heart space. Feel the stretch through the collarbones. Feel light. Beautiful. Stepping the feet together. Inhale to your chair pose. Sinking, squeezing inner thighs together. 
Beautiful work. Now step back, right foot into lunge position. Front knee is bent deeply. Now taking your right hand behind your shoulder blades, tuck the left hand behind you and open up through the elbows, pushing back. Keep squaring the hips to the front, keep getting low. Drop your back heel down now. Create that beautiful stretch through the hip flexor. Bend through your supporting front knee. And then breathe in tall again. Breathe out as you settle the shoulders and lift the heart space. Hands to the hip bones. Lift your chest, squeezing your back body to create extension through the spine. Hips forward and down. Beautiful length through the front of the chest and the neck. Again, let's try it on the other side, lunging back. Stepping the left leg as far back as you can manage. The right knee is bent and aligned over your ankle. Then take the left arm behind overhead and the right hand tucks underneath. And we sink low and deep, dropping your back heel now. Keep squaring the hips to the front. Keep anchoring evenly to both legs. So we're really squeezing in the back body and pushing the elbows back. Then breathe in, lifting the arms overhead. Breathe out, settle the shoulders. Keep anchoring into the legs. Keep that leg work going. So the outside edges of the feet help us to anchor here. Now take your hands to your hip joints. Draw the shoulder blades back. Lift the heart space, lift your chin. So we're lengthening through the crown of the head and breathing into that beautiful space in the chest. Hands come to your knee and then come back to your intense pose, toes and heels together. Breathe in and then as you breathe out, sink deep into the legs. How much stretch do you want here? How much life can you bring to this pose? Cross the hands in front and let's create a little baby back bend here, still with the knees bent, but we're lifting through the chest. Now setting up for a warrior two, option now to change your mat or work on and off the mat. It's up to you where you wanna be. Set up the warrior two. Knees bent and aligned over the ankle. Anchor to your outside edge of your left foot. Breathe in for the joyous warriors. Drop your shoulders down. Lift the heart space. Tuck the tailbone under. Where can we go with this? Reach back to the left. Feel the back arm reaching. And your torso goes with it. Feel the expansion through the side of the body. Make it comfortable, try not to crowd the neck. And now let's change our feet, turning to the opposite direction, warrior two, facing the left. So left knee pointing to the left wall, but the hip bones facing forward. Now reach and expand through the chest as you lift and exhale as you settle there. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Breathe deep into that space. Really squeezing the back of the body. And then reach over to your right side. Stay, we've got more work to do here. Keep breathing, letting your shoulders drop down. Keep lifting. Now tucking your right hand behind you. Then exhale as you create more space on the left. Keep deepening the work, keep reaching away. Release, reach to the diagonal, create length. Then come into your triangle. Hand to the shin or ankle, whatever you prefer. 
but open through the chest and heart space. Keep pulling the top shoulder back as much as you can manage, all the while anchoring to the legs, keeping a bend now in the left knee, lift to your joyous warrior again. Squeezing the glute on the right really helps anchor and open the hip joint. Revel in that beautiful space, breathing life to the body. Beautiful, let's tick-tock the feet, switching the direction, tuck your left arm behind you, bend your right knee a lot, reach high and long first, and then exhale as you reach to the back. Creating symmetry from the right to the left now. Reach and elongate the torso. Then straighten your right leg. Still maintaining a micro bend in the knee as you do that. Top arm reaches high and long for your triangle pose. Breathe there. Breathe the openness to the body. Breathe life there. Keep working through it. Bend your knee a lot. Come back to your joyous warrior. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Lifting the heart, but staying deep in the legs. Are we feeling the work now? It should feel magnificent. All right. Now turn your body. So readjust your feet as you need to. Clasping your hands behind you. Dip from the hip and come down chest towards the thigh. Lifting your arms off your back if you can manage it. Really working on strength. Then taking your right elbow to your right thigh, create the extended warrior two, top arm overhead. Now push off, switch direction. Turning to your left side, taking your hands behind you, press the fist off the back, hinge and come forward. Can you reach the arms off? Can you create change? Good. Bringing now your elbow to your thigh, upper arm comes overhead. Breathe into that side space, create change there. If you want a little bit more advanced work, lower hand comes to the ankle. Good job. Now we're going to move into our balance work next. So two things I always remind you of with balance. Making sure your eyes are focused on a point, stabilizing your mind, and use your core to help you through the challenging positions. Taking hold of your right leg underneath the thigh, counterbalance with the left arm extended, and we're going to play with the center of gravity here a little bit. Slowly extending your leg out to the side. Negotiating with your balance. Breathing, finding the focal point on the ground to help you. Good job. Land the foot. Shake out the legs. Reset your posture. And let's try it on the other side. Grab hold of the underside of the left leg. Extend your right arm out to the side. Can you tip away? Whatever your body is allowing you to do is perfect for this moment. When you're ready, gracefully extend out. Good job. Feet together, clasp the hands behind you, push the fist down in a way open through the heart space. Now picking up your right leg, find that focal point on the ground, extend that right leg back. So warrior three position, the supporting knee is slightly bent. Now extend your arms forward, reach towards the front of the room. Create length from fingertips all the way to the back leg. Release. Clasp the hands behind again. Let's try it on the other side. So tipping from the hip, 
supporting leg is slightly bent, hip bones facing the ground, steady and strong, lifted through the core. We reach, extending your hands forward, creating strength and balance, honing the glute muscle. Good job. Release, take your feet shoulder distance apart and just reach over for a side bend. Breathe in, breathe out, reaching to the other side. Beautiful stretch. Good job. We're gonna move into our core challenge next. So lying on your back when you're ready with your legs extended toward the sky or knees bent. You choose which option works best for you. Palms are facing up, belly's braced. And we drop the back leg, bending the front knee and lift up again. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep the breath flowing. Pilates breathing in through the nose and out through the pursed lips. Now bringing your hands to your ears, bicycle twist. So options here, either the toes land or the toes lifted. But make sure you're keeping your elbows nice and wide and we're creating that change for the core. Now hold the bent knee position, lift the legs up and then drop. So we're working on the lower abdominals with this move. Slow and controlled movements. So it's not about how fast we do it. We really want to engage the belly, navel to the spine, and keep that back intact with the base of your mat. Back to our hands by the ears, twist. So working to lift the shoulder blade off and bring the body across. Remember, toe taps is also the lower option if you want it. Good job. Bring the knees in. Take a moment. Just breathe. Now extend both legs to the 45 degree angle, keeping the abdominal brace tightly. Hands by your ears, two slow and three quick. So two slow bicycles, three quick bicycles. Two, three. One, two, one, two, three. You've got it. Keep breathing there, keep bracing, keep making change. Good job, release. We're gonna work on our opposing muscle group now, our backs. Come to sitting up, fingertips pointing away from you. We're going into a tabletop position, squeezing the back of your body, lift it off, reaching the toes towards the ground using all the muscles behind you. Option here to bend the knee if you need it. Just an option. Slowly bring that back down. If you did one leg, go for the opposite leg, lifting up. Good, release. Just roll the shoulders, reset the posture again. Let's try it once more, tabletop. Can you squeeze the back of the body and lift off? Contracting all the muscles behind us. The glutes working, hamstrings, back and shoulders, all working to create change in the body. Slowly lower that back down again. Let's try for camel pose next. So tucking your toes behind you, squeeze the back of your body, stay lifted through the front of your body, 
and create that spinal extension. So what do we mean? We mean chin is tucked in, shoulders are drawn back, and the lift is through the upper thoracic spine. If you want, go for the half camel, bringing the front hand to the ankle and the back arm reaches up. Or you can go for the full camel, bringing both hands to the ankles, lifting through the chest. Good job. Come into your plank position. Belly's braced. Now lift your front leg off. Good job. Bring your knee down. Front leg is lifted and let's go for a push up. Back to the lift. Lift the leg off. Knee comes down and do a little push up. Now come into your side plank, either on the knee or with one foot in front of the other. Full side plank. Lots of work done there. Good, come back down. We're gonna come into camel pose. If you did the half camel on the one side last time, do it on the other side this time. So remember, squeeze the butt, lift the heart, tuck the chin in, then hand to ankle and reach. Or full camel hands to both ankles lifted through the heart space. Good job. Come out of it one hand at a time. Set up your plank position. Lift your front leg off. Bring it down, knees come down. Lift that front leg again, do a little push up. Let's try it again. Tuck the toes, full plank position. Lift that front leg off. Bring the toes down, knees come down. Extend the front leg, do a little push up. Good job. Now coming into the side plank, open and lifted. Reach through the top arm. Remember your options. You can stack the feet one in front of the other and come into your side plank there. Good job. Bring the knees down. Come on to your backs, set up the bridge. Heels close to your bum. Knees in alignment with your hip joints. Hands start out at your sides. We squeeze the back of the body, we lift up. If you want to advance the work here, tuck your arms underneath you, clasp the hands together. Press the forearms towards the ground, activating the triceps, the back, the butt, the hamstrings. Advancing from here, if you so choose, bringing the front knee in, extend the leg, bend it, bring the foot down. Other side, knee lifts, reach, Knee bends and returns. Front leg again, breathe in, lift. Breathe out on the extension. Breathe in, knee bends. Breathe out, foot returns. Breathe in, knee lift. Breathe out, you've got it. Bend your knee, foot lands. Release the hands from underneath you. Rest your back on the ground. Good job, everybody. Now we have time to relax the back. Open up the inner thighs for your butterfly position. Extend your arms overhead, hands to the elbows. Just release the shoulders down. Take a moment, catch your breath. Just breathe expansively into the chest. Let that breath land in the body. Let it lighten your load, releasing you further into the moment. I invite you now to set up for your meditation to finish off this 
beautiful strengthening workout with a relaxation for the body. So we'll let that breath land on you. Let it release you. I invite you now to close your eyes. Allow the face, the jaw, the shoulders to relax down. Let the breath be your guide as you relax into your meditative state. And our goal and, and intent with meditation is to allow the body the time it needs to recover, rejuvenate, and restore energy. To allow the benefits of the work we've just completed to land in our bodies and create that beautiful change that we all want. So this is the time where we allow the mind the time to relax. I invite you to close your eyes if you haven't done so already and just let the breath be your guide. Breathing deeply into the chest and abdomen and letting your out breath be just as slow and as calm as your in breath. Just allowing the breath to relax you further into the moment. Allow your face, your jaw, your shoulders to relax. Allow the expression of your body to land in this moment, being present. And as thoughts and emotions come to your mind, just let them drift by like leaves floating by on a pool of water. Try not to become involved in the content of your thoughts without judgment or comment. Just redirect yourself back into your body, into this moment, into your breath. Allow the breath to relax your face, your jaw, your shoulders. Let it land on you. Slowly begin to wake in your body again. Begin by wiggling your fingers and toes and rolling through your wrists and ankles. If it feels good for you, just draw your knees in towards your chest and gently rock from side to side, just wakening your back. And then slowly roll over to your side body, pushing yourself back up to seated and sitting in a comfortable position with a nice long lifted chest. Think about the length and breath you've created for the spine and the back body, the peacefulness in your mind. Thank you all for sharing your time with me today. Breathing in one last time together, lifting the hands overhead. 
palms come back to your heart center. I thank you for sharing this time and space with me. If you did like the workout today, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel as it does help get this message out to the rest of the world and share it with the people around us. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Namaste.